So this celebrity watch review is on rapper, pop star, or straight up rock star, or whatever it is you want to call him, Post Malone. Our sponsor for this video is Horace Watch Straps. They have the best color selection and fitment in the industry. They also make straps for many different types of watch brands. Hit the link below and use the promotional code CRM and save 20% off your next purchase. So I've been following Post Malone for quite some time and his watches and I want to say that, you know, Three years ago, about three years ago, I remember I saw that interview on GQ where he pretty much had shown two watches that he had. So he was gifted by his manager, a stainless steel deep sea, which I think you'll soon notice that that watch is a bit uncomfortable, but nevertheless, it's such a timeless gift. Um, I also realized that he had a Day Day 2 yellow, 41 millimeter with a factory diamond dial, and it appears to be, in my opinion, the picture's uh, aftermarket bezel, which is fine too. Watch was good, clean, big face. But from there, he's dramatically made some moves in both his career and his watch collection. So although I might not completely agree with all the tattoo choices he has made, I can definitely agree with where he's gone with his watch collection. So after Post had that Day Day 2 yellow, I feel like it was right around the time in 2016, 17, where these trends were hot. So the guy from there went straight to an AP 15400, all iced out. You see many times with that, also with the Day Day 2 yellow, all iced out, or bust down, however you wanna call it. He also had the 5982 tone, all iced out. In that era, that was really what was cranking hard. Three to two years ago, that's what was hot. Everybody was wearing it, and he was not left behind. So I had noticed that he had all those watches and he was wearing them, and I was like, okay, you know, guy likes watches. But where I feel like he really started to make that next step, and you know, I guess he just, you know, you go through phases. Watch collecting is like a phase and a journey and you go changing up your ideas. So when I really noticed he was getting serious about his watches is when I saw him with an AP stainless steel 15400 with the black dial. There's a famous picture of him with Gwen Stefani and he's wearing this green suit. Weird looking suit, but nevertheless a suit. And he has a 15400 on stainless steel black dial. And that's when I said, all right, maybe Posty is maturing here, you know? So that was that breakout watch where I felt that he went away from the ultra trendy stuff and went more to the serious watch game stuff. After that famous picture with Gwen Stefani, I noticed he took an interesting turn. I don't really agree with that, but he was wearing a Hublot Spirit of Big Bang. I think it's a perpetual calendar or whatnot, but it's like pink with pink diamonds. I mean, look, he's like a weirdo rock star and he's got his own style and his own lane. And you know, that's fine. I mean, he did it, but that was kind of like, whoa, I don't know. He was just maybe experimenting, but whatever. We can definitely say he's moved on beyond that. Because then after that, he was seen with much more serious pieces. He broke out with a Patek 5167 Aquanaut and stainless steel with a rubber strap. Again, probably seems more like a beater for him. Um, but it was definitely an acquired selection, you know, not just anybody goes and buys that watch. Then more fitting than the spirit of Big Bang, in my opinion, for him, was he busted out the Daytona Rose Gold Rainbow. You see, now we're getting into the heavy hitter territory. Guy definitely started jumping into the 200,000s plus in watches. And that's when I think Post Malone really started to step it up. From there, it only got crazier. He went to a Patek 5968A, which isn't a great watch. It's the Chrono, Big Face, Aquanaut. I mean, at that point, maybe he just traded in a 5167 for it. That's what I would have done, in my opinion. But then he really got loose. All hell broke loose. He then went to a 5905, which is a Platinum Annual Calendar Chrono, which was a very gentleman selection watch. I said, wow, look at that. 
You know, he's either got somebody that's guiding him in the right direction, or maybe the guy's doing his reading and he's really doing his homework. From there, I think the big watch that I really made me do the jaw drop was the 5719 factory diamond set with baguette, which is pretty much a 5711 Patek. See, now we're talking. That's heavy watch, high, high retail. We're talking some crazy numbers. You know, that already to me put it in a whole nother level, man. I mean, that was already when I said, you know, this guy is really getting into watches. When I really realized that he was getting deep into this watch collecting hobby, and I thought maybe I should do a review, is when I started seeing him bust out the RMs. The first RM that I saw him with was an RM55 white Bubba Watson. Might have been his first taste, whatever, getting into the brand, see how it feels. From there, guy went loose. He ended up with an RM52 Skull Turbion, which those watches are untouchable to retails. 500,000 plus. You know, we're going into deep, deep terrain there. But it wasn't his first Turbion. From there, he also went into an RM12, which is also a cool watch that you don't see a lot. Some of the smaller, slimmer Turbions. But the one that really, for me, said, that's it, I'm doing a review, and we're giving him a score, is when he came out with the RM2701 with the white case. Love that watch. And nothing says that he has more dedication than an RM27 Rafael Nadal. I mean, you really have gone off into the deep end. So, you know, what really, for me, says the most about this collection is how fast it escalated. You know, in 2017, Guy was still just buying his first AP 15400 diamond, which everybody was jumping to that trend. It was only three years ago he did that GQ interview where he had that Rolex Deep Sea and that Day Day 2. So, that all being said, being that he has these watches and they've accumulated so fast, I'm gonna go ahead and give Post a score of a 7.5. And there's no doubt that perhaps maybe in another six months to year, he might go all the way to a nine if he keeps going at the rate that he's going. So while Post continues to drop chart topping smash hits, we're gonna continue to closely look at his collection and see if perhaps he jumps into the realm of the tens. So feel free to comment below how you feel about Post Alone's watch collection and not his music. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell until it looks like this. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric. This is Watch Your Style.